Hello and welcome back. My name is Erin L. Ferguson and this is my video series about creating the art for a 2D video game. It has been a minute since my last update video and quarantine is mostly, though not entirely, to blame for that. So like many of you, I have been stuck at home for the past, oh, how many, how many weeks, years has this been going on? Um, a couple months. Anyway, we've been stuck at home and my kids are home and my husband pretty much lives in our office now and so there just hasn't been all that much time to record a video but rest assured the reason there hasn't been any new videos is not because there isn't new content in fact it's quite the opposite we have a bunch of new features that we have finished it's just that i haven't had two seconds of quiet to record a video to show them to you but without further ado, I want to give you a little tour of our coastal kingdom. Our first stop on our tour, of course, is going to be the Admiral's Mansion. So the Admiral, who basically is the steward for this kingdom, he lives here with his lovely wife Meriwether and their son Garrison. And I won't walk through all of the rooms because I still want there to be some surprises when you play the game. But as you can see, all of the characters now have dialogue, they have schedules that they keep to, and the schedules vary depending on time of day and weather and day of the week. And really that just gives the characters more depth and more interest. Our second stop here is the Black Market. It is not currently open this afternoon, but if you go next door, you can find Iago sleeping uh, on a grubby mattress in the storage room. And that's pretty much where he spends all of, uh, all of the daylight hours. I should mention here in advance too that you'll have to forgive some of the lighting in our indoor scenes. As you can see, it's quite dark here in Roy's uh, houseboat. Uh, we recently updated Unity and uh, as a result, some of the lighting in the houses and in the indoor scenes needs to be adjusted. And here's Roy right now. He's supposed to be working on the docks, but instead I'm pretty sure he's flirting with, with Coral here. This is Coral. She runs the little pop-up shop here along with her sister. You'll have to use your imagination though and actually uh, pretend that there are some goods for sale there in her shop because there aren't any. There's nothing you could buy at the moment. But here is Pearl. She is hanging out in their little beach hut. We should also pay a visit to Bonnie Ann's house. Again, this is one of the scenes that's a little bit dark that we're gonna have to come back and tweak. And the same thing with her tackle shop here next door. Oh dang, that's pretty bad. Like, <laughs> that's not just a little dark, that's like a lot dark. It would probably help if she had some windows in here. But moving on in our tour, we're going to go to, uh, our next stop is actually intentionally supposed to be dark, <laughs> unlike the tackle shop. Let's go visit our crazy wizard friend, Archimedes. I don't know, maybe crazy is too strong of a word, but I'd definitely say eccentric for sure. Um, as you can see, when you first meet him, he wants to harvest your fingernails for a potion he's developing. You all can decide how you personally feel about that when you get a chance to play. Oh my gosh, guys. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's a pearl right there. Believe it or not, that is the first pearl I have ever found. They're super rare. This is my own game. That's the first time I've ever actually found a pearl there out on the beach. Well, why don't we pay a visit to the lighthouse next since it is obviously getting quite dark. Our friend Davy should be up there uh, manning the beacon. Of course, the lighthouse is about four stories, of course, it's also very dark. We might need to get some candles in there. We've got the bottom story, storage, second story, kitchen, third stories where he sleeps. And I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but if you feel like being creepy, you are more than welcome to hop into the beds of any of the, of the NPCs that you feel like. Up on the top floor, we have Davy, who is manning the lighthouse as usual. He's up here usually at night and during poor weather. I believe that's all of our unique NPCs. I think we've stopped in and said hi to all of them. Of course, there are plenty of non-unique ones like this fine gentleman who's weaving in and out of these trees like an American Ninja Warrior over here. Um, there are, of course, as you noticed when I was wandering around town, there are a bunch of um, peasants that live there as well. And they're basically the equivalent of the peasants that live in your kingdom. They have, um, they don't really have a uh, special dialogue. They're just mostly there to make a, an area look more populated. And also if you follow them around for a little while, you'll notice that they'll just occasionally like vanish into the fifth dimension. And your unique NPCs won't do that. So that's pro tip, that's how you tell them apart. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour. I know this video was fairly short and it's been a good long while since I've posted one. Um, but rest assured, like I mentioned before, we have a bunch of new features we've been uh, rolling out. 
we have seasons, we have weather now, we have fishing. Um, we're working on like a sense of progression in the game, um, working on when things unlock and how to achieve certain goals. There are cutscenes now and tutorials. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that we've been working on. So I hope that you will stick around. And of course, as I'm able, I will post more videos. Um, hopefully quarantine will end sometime soon so I can have more than five minutes of quiet to make videos <laughs> on a more regular schedule. But just wanted to let you know what's going on and how our game is progressing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on the next one.